Sexually transmitted infections. Wrap it before you tap it is just a start. A Social 220 production. Are STIs a big deal? I use the term STIs because many of them are infections and not truly diseases, as STD implies. Yes, they are a big deal. According to ASHA, one in five people in the U.S. has an STI, and two-thirds of STIs occur among those under 25. You have to remember that statistics are usually based on projections. A certain number of people report STIs and pursue treatment, but a big number go unreported due to the embarrassment of seeking treatment, fear of social judgment, or lack of knowledge that they even have an STD. Those people in the STI dating site ad look really happy, but don't let them fool you. STIs can really affect your health and your social life. According to the CDC, chlamydia is one of the most widespread STIs in the U.S. That's unfortunate, seems it usually shows very few symptoms. Gonorrhea can also frequently go undetected. And then there's ugly old syphilis. These STIs can have serious consequences for fertility, pregnancy, and your central nervous system. ASHA reports that one in five people have herpes, but 80% of those people don't realize it. They think it's just a cold sore or just a rash or bump, and then they end up spreading it to their loved ones by sharing kisses, beverages, and intimate moments. Valtrex will put you in remission so you can rock climb, mountain bike, and date around. But wait, did you know you can still spread herpes when it's dormant? It's rare, but you can. HPV, which causes genital warts, is the most common STI in the U.S. It's also incurable and can be spread when dormant. Then, of course, you have hepatitis and HIV AIDS. But you can get over hepatitis. You can't get over HIV. These viruses start out feeling like the flu, but have much more impact than that. It's easy to say it'll never happen to me, but it does, to a tremendous amount of people as you can see in the map of people living with HIV across the globe above. But it's not just an international problem. For instance, HIV rates are rising among senior citizens because people are living longer and still have urges to date and be physical in older age, spreading infection in social circles and retirement communities. Just looking at this picture makes me feel itchy. Scabies and pubic lice or crabs are two parasites that condoms won't save you from. In fact, condoms might not save you from various things on our list. You can spread things like scabies with skin-to-skin -skin contact, and even if you use a condom during intercourse, do you think to use a dental dam during oral sex? It might sound silly, but when you're getting involved with a new partner, you should ask if he or she has been tested, how he or she usually protects himself or herself, and visually inspect his or her body during foreplay to see if you spot anything worrisome. Remember, there are some things you can't even spot. But wait, there's more! There are yeast infections, trichomoniasis, vaginosis, and plenty of other things. Does this mean you should be paranoid about having sex or never have sex again? No. The point of this presentation is to be aware and to be as safe and responsible as you can. Don't turn a blind eye to the fact that these things exist and don't pretend you're invincible. Know what's out there. Know that condoms do a great deal, but they don't do it all. Know some of the symptoms and be in tune with your body so you can get checked out if anything seems off. Understand that it's important to have emotional intimacy and trust with your physical partners so that you can talk about issues like sexual habits and protection. If you help take care of yourself and others, we can all worry a lot less.